morning everybody rusty from the rusty razor and it's another shave of the day and today we're going into another sample from well this is one of my longest running samples i have yet to finish it is bay rum from sterling it's taking me a while to get through this one it's uh well let's just say a very vegetable-y style See, I cook, I make stew and everything, I put bay rum, bay leaves in it, and it smells like bay leaves, with a, maybe a dash of rum in it, but it's mostly, because when you get the beef, beefiness, it smells like beef stew to me, a more green beef stew, vegetable beef stew, but yeah, what do I know? So, it's not really a soap that I've been really enjoying. I've been using it off and on. Just because, hey, I'm going to use it up eventually and uh, be done with it. But, yeah. You know, you get sense that you just like, hey, I know bay rum. Bay rum smells good. You know, it's like you get this bay rum from... Uh, Crown and Crane, that smells really nice. I really like their Bay Rum. But Sterling's not so much. I don't know why. Just, I guess it's all subjective. You know, everybody's like, some people smell that and go, oh, that's just so wonderful. And others go, ooh, yuck. You know, and others like, eh, I could live with it or live without it. I'm probably will live without it type of deal. You can't please everybody with everything. But it does make a nice lather. And it's trying to escape. Yeah, look at that. It's just nice, 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 nice. And just a quarter size amount. It's like, man, look at that. Nice and drippy. Like, well, uh, it's got, got some nice body to it. I have to give them that much. Now, we are going to use the Mercor 34 seed day with, oh, get this right. There we go. Perm Sharps. So I had to break out the perm sharps today and uh, just do a little bit of shaving with them today. The perm sharps aren't that bad. They were the first blades that I picked up after I started back into shaving again. Never heard of the term wet shaving before. It's like everybody's like, oh, you're wet shaving. I'm like, isn't that just called shaving? I mean, it's like classic shaving. It's classic shaving. It's what everybody used to do. What I started off doing. And here everybody says, wet shaving or... Well, what the heck you call it. Yeah, blade work. I love this 30... Mercore 34C is a really nice razor in my opinion. It's just the right amount of gr aggressiveness. I think it is. Uh, yeah, I got that bump I usually got there. Knocked it off. Felt something snag. But, you know, it's... I've said before, to me, this is just the right sweet spot when it comes to it. just enough aggressiveness to knock down what i want give me a nice close shave but not aggressive enough at peeling my face off fillet a fish face fillet a face that's it not fillet a fish fillet a face Is by spending a lot of time bleeding after shaving, and eh, maybe it's a little too much. You know, I like to leave some of my face on there. 
residual slickness. Yeah, there is a slight burning right there. Yeah, there's a bump there. I think I just snicked it. Like Wolverine, schnick. If you ever read comics, Wolverine, when he claws come out, goes schnick. Not that the sound of metal coming out of flesh would make a snick sound, but they did it anyway, just to... My favorite uh, superhero of all of them. He's more of an anti-hero in a way. Not really a superhero. By standards. Him and... It's like my favorite characters for uh, comic comic book characters, I guess, would be Daredevil, Wolverine. Well, Wolverine's number one. Then Daredevil, Punisher, and Deadpool. And Spider-Man. Spider-Man's a hero type. Captain American's kind of cool, but Fantastic Four, the usual, the usual suspects when it comes to comics. Well, some of my least favorite, Iron Man, who ends up becoming one of the uh, premier uh, characters in all these movies. I'm like, man. I was kind of happy. It's like you had the uh, Daredevil movie that had uh, Ben Affleck in it. I was happy that it was made. Not that it was overly great. It was bad. Kind of enjoyed it. It's like when you see one of your characters that you like make it into the, the big screen, you're like, yay! And when they Netflix had their series of Daredevil and Punisher, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and uh, the uh, Defenders. And I was, I've watched the Daredevil series probably about five, maybe six times. <laughs> I watch it every every time they start a new season. I go through and watch all of them, just for the again, because the first time we when it first came out, the very first time, we had a projection screen TV, and the a lot of the night scenes, you know, because he's in he does most of his action in the dark, right, and. Most of the time we're watching, we're like, you're hearing sounds and you see blurry imagery because it's so dark and our projection screen TV sucks so bad. And then um, in between season one and two, my TV, projection screen TV died. And we decided to get us another 70 inch LED uh, TV. So we watched the series again. And I'm like watching like, Wow! Oh, well, there's all this action. I never, I heard it, but I never seen it. And one of the scenes, my daughter, she's like, "We can skip this part." That's when um, Kingpin takes the guy's head, and puts it in the door. <laughs> no more head. It's like, yeah, boy, you got a little bit of road rage going on, <laughs> but. So we watched it all over again. It's like, wow, there's just all this action. Where it's like, here before it was like listening to an audio book. Now you're actually seeing the movie, like or the show. And you're like, whoa, cool. So I had to watch it again and again and again. So yeah, this reminds me I should go through and watch it again. Kind of missed the. It uh, sounds like they're bringing it and putting it on Disney. They're going to bring it back in Disney or something. 
Man, I like the dynamics between uh, Punisher and uh, Daredevil, Matt Murdock. Where it's like, Red, you got to put them down. They don't get up again. They don't bother you. That's not the way we do things. Yeah, put them in. Put them through justice. My justice works every time. Like, yeah, yeah, put them down. They're done. Which kind of reminds me, we're, we were, were watching, uh, what was it, Jupiter's Legacy or Ascendancy, something like that, where uh, it's on Netflix, where you got all the superheroes and they're kids and, you know, it's kind of like the dynamics of uh, how they all interact and the, the older generation has a moral code. We don't kill. We don't do that. That's not us. <laughs> One of the uh, kids superheroes, you know, they're having this big battle and against this villain. This villain has his has this super energy weapon or something that he built into his suit, and he takes this one, grabs this one superhero chick by the head, and all of a sudden, his beam goes right through her, takes her head off, and kills two other ones, and. And uh, the one son is like, ah! and he goes in there and just, like, cause he's like Superman, right? But he's Superman's son. He just goes in there and just, kaboom, smacks this guy, caves the skull in. And they're like, we don't kill. They killed my friends. <laughs> like, well, yeah, it's like, I can understand these things. You put them down, they don't get back up. Punisher, <laughs> or in the case of uh, Deadpool, I like kind of like Deadpool's an anti-hero too. Him and... But yeah, if the villain doesn't get up again ever, then you don't have to worry about him. That's the one thing. Uh, it's, it's an it's that's on Netflix. Check it out. I think it's Jupiter's Sin Legacy. Maybe that's what it's called. Jupiter something came out. Started last. I guess it's been a week now. We're down to our last couple episodes of it. <clears throat> I think there's eight. So yeah, that would. Yeah, we'll probably finish it tonight. Because my wife and I usually watch the superhero shows, but it's like you go into CW, you got Supergirl, Black Lightning, Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow. We've basically written off Supergirl after last season. It's like can't take it anymore. Neither one of us could take it anymore. It's like it's like writing's bad. Acting is bad. And same way with Black Lightning. So we're down to Legends of Tomorrow and um, Flash. Flash is in. I'd say if Flash goes one more season, I'd be surprised. Acting bad, and all the main characters on the show are leaving or have left. It's like a sinking ship. Now, one show I'm looking forward to coming back. I think it might be its final season is Lucifer. It was on the CW, now it's over on Netflix. I, I, oh, that, it's funny. I like that show. Even though you're talking about the devil, Lucifer, Morningstar. 
he's trying to make himself better. He's trying to, it's like, yeah, I was a jerk type thing, but he's trying to uh, make up for it. And it helps solve crime in L.A. Plenty abundance of crime in L.A., so... <laughs> what is your desire? That's based on a comic book, too. Alright. Man, that's good. There we go. Got it. This is a one little left. There we go. We're done. I was just kind of playing around to see what I wanted to uh, use for got the standard Panod Clubman. It's got more of a ferny vegetable scent to it, so that was a good combination together. A little stinging right there and right on the lip right here. Other than that, pretty good. So what I like about that Mercure 34C, it's a nice easy razor so well let me just see show you how much i got left i got maybe two three more shades left in this tub with the bay rum from sterling yep good stuff close that up and that was the mercore 34c with purple sharps all right hope you guys like this one it was a good shave man it feels good nice and smooth like that razor. Works really good for me. Perfect razor for me. All right. We'll talk with y'all later. Rusty out.